A pentagonal tetramid stands on its base on the HP with the edge of base perpendicular to VP. Draw front view, sectional top view, sectional side view, and TSS. When it is cut by AIP such that the TSS is an isosceles triangle with maximum base and maximum altitude. Now we are taking case A where maximum base and maximum altitude. So we have to cut. Uh, we have to cut AIP in a such a fashion that ASS is an isosceles triangle with maximum base and maximum altitude. Now we require a triangle, so we need three points. So we know that we need to cut from the base as well as from the apex. So what we will do first, first we will see the maximum base. So maximum base we are getting it over here. See this. This is the maximum base. So what we will do, we will take this. And from here, now this will become our cutting plane. For the sum, this will be the cutting plane. It will pass through this edge only. We cut like this. So this much portion will be dark. will be hashed. So we got how many points? We got point PU PV PO three points. This is PO double dash and here we got PU dash and PV dash. Now we'll take this point inside you. So we'll if we take PO dash will be here, PO double dash, this is PO dash. And now PV, PV from here, so we get PV double dash, PU from here, so we get PU double dash. This entire portion will be dark. This will go away. And this will be hatched. So we are done with sectional top view and sectional side. Now we will draw TSS of the sum where we get isosceles triangle with maximum base and maximum altitude. So first we will draw this cutting plane line parallel to x square line. Then we will project PU dash, PV dash from here, PV and PU from here. So this is PU, this is PV. Same way you project PU dash from here. PO from here, so wherever it will intersect, that is PO. Join this, so we get triangle, isosceles triangle with maximum base and maximum altitude. And this is TSS, two sectional shape. Now, in this sum, we need to we need to cut AIP such that TSS is an isosceles triangle with maximum base and minimum altitude. Now, maximum base. So again, maximum base we will get it over here in top view. Right? And minimum altitude. So for that, we need to draw perpendicular from here. This will be perpendicular. So this much will be the remaining portion. This entire part will go away. This point will be PC dash. This is PU dash, PV dash. So we got PU, PV, and you extend this point down, PC dash. Wherever it will cut, that is PC. So this part will be hatched. And this part. See, only this much portion will be down. This entire upper portion will go away. This portion will go away. Now we will draw side view. We'll extend this PC dash horizontally. Wherever it will cut O double dash, C double dash, that is PC double dash. Same with PU PV. You extend PU from here, you get it over here. This is PU double dash. This is PV double dash. So only this 
first portion will be hatched. This entire portion will go. Okay, this much will be the remaining portion. Now we'll draw TSS. So what we will do, we will take this cutting line and we will draw horizontal to XY line, parallel to XY line, and then we will extend PU dash, PV dash, and PC dash. From here we'll extend PU, PV as well as PC. So what we get is isosceles triangle with maximum base and minimum altitude. This is TSS. This is PU, this is PC, this is PV. 